Well, cooling off from the summer heat is about to get a whole lot easier for neighbors in the town of Lysander. This morning, the last bit of concrete went down for a new splash pad. And as News Channel 9's Rob Hackford explains, opening day is fast approaching. It isn't water flowing at the Lysander Spray Park this week. But come mid-August, this concrete pad will look a lot different. What you have here is 4,400 square feet of concrete and plumbing. Um, we're going to have 23 sp spray features embedded and above ground. In total, there is 2,100 feet of water line beneath this concrete, but the water won't be running all the time. Anybody who wants to come and use the park can click the on button and the water will start flowing. When we looked at this project, it wasn't just for kids. It was for families. It's for grandparents to bring grandkids. It's for aunts and uncles, brothers and sisters, mom and dad to come out in a safe environment uh, and enjoy the outdoors. Getting to this point has taken almost two and a half years, and it wasn't easy. The park lost a bonding vote by 100 ballots last spring, but with new money secured by Senator DeFrancisco, the town board approved the $250,000 expense in April. A splash pad is relatively inexpensive to, to maintain. You're talking basically water and a little bit of oversight. And long-term more cost-efficient than a pool, added Saracini. Improvements to existing bathrooms and a new pavilion will round out phase two of the project. There's just been so many people that have um, volunteered their time, uh, gone the extra mile for the project. And that extra mile is making the town park better, even on the hottest days. In Lysander, Rob Hackford, News Channel 9. Now that we're told the grand opening will be held on August the 16th at the Lysander Town Park, the fun will start at noon and end at dark with a fireworks show. And by then, the water is going to be flowing, so bring the bathing suit and get ready to cool off.